Hey, what up everyone? I'm Sunny Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have your Pure Faction and your Deathless for level 500 Fang more. Got it done. Took me a little bit longer this time, but it wasn't just the um, faction. It wasn't like it was... It was a little bit harder, I would say. It was a little bit longer. I don't know if it was harder. It was like slightly harder and longer, I would say. Um, I just had a kind of a bad day yesterday, so... Uh, didn't want to just play the game all day, wasn't feeling right, I don't know. Anyway, so, had a bad day yesterday, plus the faction is a little bit longer and a little bit harder. It's not too crazy, it's just slightly. So here's the Deathless team right here, level 500. Whenever you can do this, you probably want to do this. It's pretty, um, reliable, I would say. We got High King Iron Gut, we got Essence of Evil, we got Zulgoth and Harpy Mage. So Harpy Mage is like our mana generator, getting up on second turn. Um, High King Iron Gut devours. His stats go up really high. He's hard to kill. He does instant kills. And then Zulgoth is there to, like, finish them off. You don't want to overuse the Zulgoth because you don't want to get backfired too early. But um, you want to devour twice with the with the High King Iron Gut. Get his attack up super high. Get his durability up super high. And then you're going to want to cast the Zulgoth on, like, you know, one of two enemies that are left. And then the High King Iron Gut can kill the last one with Skulls. So it's it's the world record team, but just slightly different, um, and it works. I went deathless. It was easy. It was on my first try. Um, I used this uh, from like level 200 ish on to 500. Um, I used Phoenicia Magma Dragon up until 200. Then it stopped doing its thing. It, it was leaving stuff alive. So I switched to this. Um, I did Horde level 155. I uh, had to buy quite a few potions because. Um, you know, I went into the second day, and I don't know, I felt like I bought a lot of power potions this time, like maybe seven, something like seven. I think that's normal, though. I think you buy like five to seven power potions. It was just on the high end once again, so the theme of this faction, this level 500 pure faction Deathless uh, for Fang Moore is it's just a little bit longer and a little bit harder. Nothing too crazy, but noticeable. So seven power potions, Horde 155, um... But the High King Iron Guts Ulgoth did it pretty easily here, Deathless. So, level 500, as you can see. And I'd just like to show you that I got it done and everything. I'll go to, uh... Let's go to the, uh, Fang Moor And check it out. So, 500 out of 500. Best delve with no casualties. Got her done. And we'll be moving on to the Pure Faction here shortly. I think uh, Gob Truffle could do it as well. If you wanna, if you don't have Zulgoth and you don't have High King Iron Gut, that doesn't mean you you can't do it. I think a um um I'm pretty sure, right? It's blue, isn't it? Blue and red. Um, pretty sure that a uh, a High or a um King Gob Truffle could get this done as well, like the Truffle Shuffle, if you're really careful. Here's the pure faction that I did. Now, sometimes, hey, this is what worked for me. That's what I gotta say. First of all, and it's in two times speed because it's just really slow. It takes forever, but I'll explain as we go here. We got some time because it's a really long couple battles that you're going to see. Um, I think maybe this isn't the best team, but it will work. It's what I can only show y'all what I used and what, what worked for me. Um, but I think you have a couple op different options here that you could use with this uh, faction. I went with Chief Dargan. Um, the mana generator there, I forget its name already, Shaman of Set or something like that. And then the um, the two snakes. Um, I can't believe I can't remember their names right now. I could probably go look it up. Horned Asp. So Chief Dargan, Shaman of Set, and two Horned Asps is what I went with. Um, but as I was using this, as it was winning and getting the job done, I was like, you know, this might be, could do a different strategy here. But let me explain my strategy first. So Chief Dargon is our tank. We're trying to build like a bunch of attack on him. And he's a, he has a 50% skull um, mitigation. Um, so he's a good tank. Uh, every time you cast him, he gains a decent amount of attack. So we're trying to boost his attack, boost his attack, boost his attack, and then use skulls. Um, the Shaman of Set there is like the only mana generator pretty much in this uh, faction. So, was trying to use it. It wasn't the greatest, but it's the only thing we got, really. Do you need it? I don't know. So, I, I went with it just to have a mana generator. Um, but, yeah, it was okay. I would say every other time it would get an extra turn. 
then we have the horned asp, and that was my idea. Like, let's use the two horned asps. You know, hit them, hit the same thing a bunch of times, get them all poisoned, and um, you know, go from there. And it ended up working. But I think the star of the show is Chief Dargon, actually. So this is what I use. This this worked for me. I would just shoot the same enemy, like the most dangerous enemy. I would just shoot the most dangerous enemy as many, like with the same two horned asps over and over and over the most dangerous enemy it would do splash damage it would poison everything and eventually you would win here but all the while it was building up my chief dargon's attack and everybody's attack on the whole team actually because it does you plus everything below you and um you know hitting them with skulls too so for, i was going from like maybe i would shoot the three shot s spot here so horned asp is like going after the bottom three the whole time while Chief Dargon is going from the top to the bottom. So it kind of worked together to like get the job done. Chief Dargon's hitting them with skulls from top to bottom. The horned asps are shooting like the third slot and hitting everything at the bottom of the team. So by the time Chief Dargon gets down to the second slot, it's got like one shot potential there. Then the, the third slot, boom, one shot. Fourth slot, boom, one shot. So, But I feel like there's another way you could do this, and I'll let you know right now. Uh, I think maybe two Chief Dargon's... Two Chief Dargons, and then um, maybe the one that makes Skulls, and then maybe one Horned Asp. So take off the Shaman of Set, put on a Chief Dargon, take off one of the Snakes, put on the, the one that makes Skulls. It's the second slot there on the enemy's team. And maybe you just go all in on your Chief Dargons, because the more bleeds you get, the more Skulls it makes, that troop. Now that's a more dangerous way to do it. I think my way was safer. But you'll see on this battle here that it wasn't super safe. Um, but I think there's a couple different ways you could do this one, basically. I think you could either go down the, the same way I went here, and just this is I think it's way safer my way, or you could go with two Chief Dargons, try to make some skulls, try to get a bunch of attack on your entire team, and then. Um, but even if you have two Chief Dargons, it's not going to make like way more attack unless you die, because you can't get the first. The first slot's not going to get more attack if you have two Chief Dargons, so... But, I don't know. You can make Skulls with the Skull Troop, I guess. And then if you lose your Chief Dargon, you got another one. But, I don't know. Just a thought. I think if you could do it my way here, or you could do, like, two, or... Just go all in on Chief Dargon, basically. And maybe add that Skull Troop to give yourself more Skulls. But, once again, you put Skulls on the board. If you miss, the enemy's going to get Skulls, too. And it could backfire, so... But as you like right there I just died, lost my first slot. But the cool part about my team is it's building up everybody's attack. So even though I lost my first slot, my second slot had 668 attack. Now, I'm down to two troops here, but they both have 668 attack. All I got to do is just keep attacking them with my spell, keep hitting them with skulls, and uh good to go. Did it on my first try. I was a little nervous here cuz I did get down to two troops and that that third slot almost died too. But hey, it was all good. It was built to go like that, kind of. Um, didn't do it deathless. Lost a couple troops, but got it done on my first try, which I think is important, That getting it done on your first try. So that was my team, Chief Dargon, Shaman of Set, Horned Asp, Horned Asp. Shoot like the three slot or the most dangerous enemy as many times as you can with the snakes, all the while building up your attack with your Chief Dargon, who's your tank. Shaman of Set is your mana generator. And then take every skull you can as you build your attack up. If you happen to lose one of your troops, hopefully that doesn't happen to like the last battle, but if you happen to lose one of your troops, your whole team will have attack, and then you can just keep hitting skulls and, and try to, you know, win before before you lose, basically. Um, but yeah, here I was just checking the rest of the other troops, seeing if, uh, you know, what does Satari do, um, and like just how it made its skulls and what its boost ratio was and stuff like that. And it's based on bleed, and you could make them bleed. That's why you would still use a horned asp on a Satori uh, uh, Chief Dargon team, because you want to put as many bleeds on the enemy as you can. And horned asp puts bleed on like three troops every time it casts. So you got a lot of bleed flying around, and the Satori does skulls based on bleed. So you might be able to get some extra turns with skulls. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. What was your pure faction team? If that's the thing with this... Uh, with the Pure Faction 500, like, if I try something and it, and it's successful, like, I'm not going to just try something else to see if it's better. Um, so, and all I can tell y'all is what worked for me. And I'm not downplaying my team at all. I just don't know if another team would be better or not, because I'm probably never going to try this again. But yeah, 
I think those are your two options. All in on Chief Dargon or my team there, which I think is slightly safer. Uh, 155 horde level. There's me getting my, my pets. Got the pets, which led to uh, uh, another power level, which was cool. More renown. So more stats. Getting closer to more stats, at least. So pets are usually what's going to roadblock you first in this game. Mythics will probably roadblock you first, but then after Mythics is definitely pets. So pets are probably your second roadblock on Kingdom Power after Mythics. But yeah, hopefully good luck to y'all. Hopefully y'all uh, get this done. Well, I'm sure some of y'all already have it done, but it's one of the hardest things to do in the game. So hopefully I can help you out a little bit here. Like I said, it was slightly... It took a little bit longer was the most of it. I think there was more rooms or something. And then, like, it was slightly harder. As you can see, my pure faction team didn't just run it through Deathless like I normally do. But yeah, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below. I'll have spoilers for y'all coming up hopefully later today. And we'll have our live stream tomorrow on Sunday at 10.30 a.m. EST. Hopefully, as long as everything goes good, IRL. Peace.